number one overall pick, Bryce Young, for one to two weeks after the rookie quarterback sprained his ankle in Monday night's loss to the Saints. Head coach Frank Reich says Andy Dalton will start tomorrow when the Panthers face the Seahawks. Another rookie quarterback already ruled out is Anthony Richardson. He remains in concussion protocol, and head coach Shane Steichen says Gardner Minshew will start against the Ravens. Speaking of Baltimore, Odell Beckham Jr. has been ruled out against the Colts. He's been dealing with an ankle injury and hasn't practiced all week. However, linebacker Jadavian Clowney was a full participant in practice Thursday and Friday after missing Wednesday's session with an illness. The Chargers will be without Austin Eckler Sunday against the Vikings as he continues to deal with an ankle sprain suffered in their week one loss. And in Green Bay, Aaron Jones and Christian Watson are both listed as questionable with hamstring injuries. The Packers host the Saints on Sunday. This has been NFL Network Now on the Westwood One Radio Network. Prescriptions require an online consultation with a healthcare provider who will determine if appropriate restrictions apply. See website for details and important safety information. Subscription required. Price varies based on product and subscription plan. Hey guys, did you know there's a generic form of Viagra that works just the same, but is 95% cheaper and you can get it online? Go to hymns.com slash joy. Through hymns, you'll get a free medical consultation, discreet shipping if prescribed, and the process is 100% online. To start your free online visit, go to hymns.com slash joy. That's H-I-M-S dot com slash J-O-Y. A lot of schools talk about training the cybersecurity workforce of the future, but do they really deliver? My Computer Career has been supplying the IT workforce with thousands of skilled, certified pros for 15 years. Train with the experts in support, networking, or cybersecurity and start your career in months, not years. Upskill even faster. On campus or live online, qualified students may get financial aid, including the GI Bill. My Computer Career, accredited, acclaimed, effective. Take the free career evaluation at mycomputercareer.edu. KXO AM 1230 can help you publicize your nonprofit group's upcoming events, and we're happy to do it at no charge. To take advantage of our offer, we ask that you let us know about the event at least two weeks ahead of time. Write down the important information. You know who, what, where, when, and so on. Include a name and phone number of a contact person and mail or deliver the information to KXO, 420 Main Street, El Centro, California, 92243. Our email address is kxoamfm at kxoradio.com. The information you supply may be used as community news, public service announcements on the KXO info line or on our website. If you're paying for promotion with another advertising medium, we do offer special nonprofit group rates to promote your event. KXO AM 1230 wants to work with you and your community group to make our Imperial Valley a better place. Tell us what's going on and we'll tell everyone else. KXO AM 1230, here to make a difference in the valley. It is 731 on this Saturday more Nice looking Saturday morning so far. So far, so good. Uh, we've got uh, birthdays on this uh, September 23rd. Big shot birthdays today. Julio Iglesias. He is the dad of Enrique. He is and very famous in his own right. 80 years old today is uh, Julio. A legend. Uh, the actor uh, Paul Peterson uh, the uh, on the Donna Reed show. He's 78 today. Actor, singer Mary Kay Place is 76. I don't know what she sang, but she was on, uh, she was, yeah, she was, she did that, the Mary Mary thing. Uh, singer Bruce Springsteen, he is a 74, speaking of legends. Uh, drummer Leon Taylor of the Ventures, he's 68 today. Rosalind Chow, uh, she was on Star Trek, A Deep Space Nine, and uh, Masterisk. Okay, <laughs> 66 years old today. Uh, actor Jason Alexander, he was George on Seinfeld. He's a 64. Chai McBride, a very, uh, well, yeah, Chai McBride is uh, not the McBride I was thinking about. He uh, was on Hawaii Five O, Boston Public. He's 62 today. Uh, uh, actor uh, Lisa Ray. Uh, she was on All of Us, Beauty Shop, 57 today. Singer Annie DeFranco is uh, 53. We have uh, Kip Purdue. Kip Purdue was on Rules of Attraction and Remember the Titans. He's 47. Act Anthony Mackey uh, was in Abraham Lincoln, a vampire hunter, 45. Uh, David Lim of SWAT and Quantico is 40. Uh, Kush Jumbo is a good fight and a good wife. He is uh, 38 today. And Skylar uh, Aston uh, was in per uh, Pitch Perfect. He is 36 today. In fact, he is in all the Pitch Perfect movies. A local birthday. 
Sundays. We got them coming up next. Dr. Marcus, please report, please report, to, report to pharmacy. pharmacy. There's an issue affecting many children that I can't solve alone. It's called toxic stress. It's how a child's body responds to difficult experiences, from harsh language to a painful loss. It builds up inside, making it harder to fight off infections and illnesses and increasing the risk for lasting health issues. But there are steps parents can take to help. Learn four things you can do to overcome toxic stress at first5california.com. Happy birthdays this morning going out to Anna Duarte, Candy Smith, Larry Williams, Melinda Smith, Zariah Holmes, Joanna Ramirez, Raquel Gomez, Linda Long, Carol Butler, uh, Wendy Duarte, Jasmine Cardona, Jason Knight, Robert Irving, Henry Licea Jr., Carla Ochoa, Jean Arajo, Willie Ayon, Simon Garcia, Alvarado Pimbres, Dan Sanyudo, Daniel Sanyudo, happy birthday to you, Miguel Campos, Glenda Ramirez, Norma Green, Monica Dominguez, and Maria Mercado. Happy birthday to each and every one. Tune in for NFL Primetime Football on KXO AM 1230. Catch the action of the Thursday night, Sunday night, and, of course, Monday night games on AM 1230. No fees, no buffering. Just the very best NFL football. The NFL on AM 1230 is brought to you by Southwest Security Services and El Centro RV Service Center. And we are now ready for the uh, World in California News headlines. Brought to you by Lock Air Conditioning and Custom Sheet Metal. Lock, your year-round comfort specialist. CBS News brief. Tropical storm Ophelia is moving inland after making landfall on North Carolina's outer banks. The power outage numbers are going up there and in Virginia as the region gets soaked. Hurricane Center Specialist John Cangelosi. For North Carolina and Virginia, it looks pretty clear starting on Sunday, but especially by later Sunday. And then for the mid-Atlantic, everything looks, looks clearer by Monday. A possible government shutdown is a week away, but lawmakers who could avert it have gone home for the weekend. CBS's Christina Ruffini. There are roughly 2.2 million federal employees. Some might be furloughed temporarily, and other essential workers will have to keep coming in, but without a paycheck. Two of the big three automakers have had strikes against them expand. CBS's Michael George. Ford was spared from further strike action Friday after the union said it had made good progress in talks, including securing cost of living and job protections. CBS News Brief. I'm Peter King. Become a Lock Air Conditioning VIP customer and get special pricing on cooling and heating tune-ups all year long. Call today to become a Lock Air Conditioning VIP customer at 760-93-L-O-C-K-E. That's 760-93-L-O-C-K-E. Lock VIPs receive discounted service and maintenance, discounted repairs, and priority service with prompt service. Lock Air Conditioning is your local York dealer, but they repair it all. So when the need arises, don't hesitate to call Lock Air Conditioning at 760-93-L-O-C-K-E. That's 76093-L-O-C-K-E. Lock, the only name in air conditioning for over 40 years. York, install with confidence. Contractor's license number 696216. California headline news. About 100 writers picketed outside Netflix in Hollywood Thursday. Some of the striking WGA union members are hoping a deal is near, while others aren't yet getting their hopes up. Actress and writer Justine Bateman was there. This is us saying... The deal's not right yet. Sacramento County District Attorney Tin Ho is speaking out about the reasons why he is suing the city of Sacramento for its response to the homeless crisis. He says it is not an attack on law enforcement. This is from City Hall, either with a mandate tying the hands of our law enforcement or creating policies that are obstacles that make it cumbersome for our police to enforce the law. The DA is suing the city to force them to clear homeless camps. A federal judge has struck down a California law that bans gun owners from having detachable magazines for their guns that hold more than 10 rounds. Mike Salceda, California Headline News. And the World in California News Headlines brought to you this morning by Lock Air Conditioning and Custom Sheet Metal. For repair or replacement, call the experts. Lock Air Conditioning and Custom Sheet Metal. Tuning into the baseball game, monitoring the incoming storm, catching your favorite talk show. These are just a few of the reasons more than 80 million Americans depend on AM radio each month. And did you know AM radio is the backbone of the emergency alert system, keeping us safe in dangerous times? 
It's reliable, free, and public safety depends on it. Text AM to 52886 and tell Congress we need AM radio in cars. This message furnished by the National Association of Broadcasters. And it is time for page one of the local news, a service of El Centro Motors, Quick Lane Tire and Auto Centers, with three locations to serve you at El Centro Motors, in the Brawley Auto Center on Highway 86 and Julia Drive, and at the Imperial Valley Mall. In the KXO Newsroom, uh, keeping your child safe, Child Safety Awareness Day is today. Uh, the Imperial County Public Health Department is hosting an event along with the uh, California Highway Patrol and the uh, First Five Imperial. They are at the uh, uh, Public Health Department West parking lot right now. The event will be going on until 10 o'clock uh, this morning. And the uh, CDCR honors uh, employees. Uh, the uh, 38th Annual Medal of Valor Ceremony was held yesterday at Elk Grove. California Department of Corrections and Rehabilitation honored 27 employees from across California for their bravery, service, and exemplary work conduct benefiting the department and the public. Jeff Edwards, a correctional officer from the Sentinella State Prison uh, near Sealy, was awarded the Silver Star Medal. The uh, medal is awarded uh, for acts of bravery under extraordinary or unusual circumstances. Medal of Honor went to Lieutenant Larry Faria from Fresno. We'll have more in just a minute. Before you head out on the road, head into El Centro Motors Quick Lane Tire and Auto Centers. Ask for the works. Trained technicians will change the oil using up to six quarts of synthetic blend oil. Change the filter, rotate the tires, top off the fluids, check the belts, hoses, battery, and brakes, all for one low price. It's the works at Quick Lane Tire and Auto Centers at All Central Motors, the Imperial Valley Mall, and the Brawley Auto Center, or with their new mobile service wherever you are. Well, the attention is mounting. Will AB 918 be vetoed or will the governor sign the legislation into law? We'll have to wait and see on that. The uh, bill was authored by Assemblymember Eduardo Garcia. He says uh, the bill allows for the creation of a single health care district for Imperial County. Imperial Memorial, the uh, Pioneers Memorial Health Care District uh, says the bill did not include local input and does not include equal re representation across the county. The, uh, they, along with the County Board of Supervisors, have sent letters asking the governor to veto the bill that was unanimously approved by the Assembly and the State Senate. On the other hand, the Imperial Irrigation District Board of Directors uh, voted this week to support AB 918. Uh, they, along with the Hefferton Memorial Health Care District, have sent letters to the governor asking that he sign the bill into law. The assemblyman that says the bill creates the foundation for a single health care district, and he said it does include equal representation. Garcia said the governor does read the letters sent concerning bills before him, but in this case, he is confident the governor is aware of the urgency to create a single health care district to continue to fill the health care needs of the residents of Imperial County. And the 2022 Ag Report was released this week. The uh, gross value for agriculture came in at just over $2.6 billion. That is a 14.5% increase over the previous year. The number uh, the number one commodity was once again cattle with a gross value of $477.4 million. According to the report released Tuesday, the gross value for melons and vegetables came in at $1.1 billion. Alpha Alpha was the highest gross value for field crops at $269.7 million. Combined crop makeup uh, made up of 463,824 acres. Number one vegetable crop was lettuce. 
That's it. That's page one of the local news, a service of Quick Lane Tire and Auto Center and, uh, uh, yeah, and Auto Centers with three locations to serve you. Quick Lane services all makes and models, and you will never need an appointment. KXO AM 1230 can help you publicize your nonprofit group's upcoming events, and we're happy to do it at no charge. To take advantage of our offer, we ask that you let us know about the event at least two weeks ahead of time. Write down the important information. You know who, what, where, when, and so on. Include a name and phone number of a contact person and mail or deliver the information to KXO 420 Main Street, El Centro, California, 92243. Our email address is kxoamfm at kxoradio.com. The information you supply may be used as community news, public service announcements on the KXO info line or on our website. If you're paying for promotion with another advertising medium, we do offer special nonprofit group rates to promote your event. KXO AM 1230 wants to work with you and your community group to make our Imperial Valley a better place. Tell us what's going on and we'll tell everyone else. KXO AM 1230, here to make a difference in the valley. And it is page two of the local news and, and the weather served up by Menchie's Frozen Yogurt and Round Table Pizza at 508 East Dannenberg Avenue in El Centro. Empty the Shelters is coming in October. The uh, B- Bissell Pet, Pet, Pet Foundation is hosting the event. It is their fall national Empty the Pet, Empty the Shelters event. Uh, it will be held October 1st through the 15th. The event is prompted by Animal Shelters over overcrowded uh, the uh, 345 shelters in 42 states are participating up to participating in Empty the Shelters. Humane Society of Imperial County is among the shelters that are participating. Uh, during the event, Bissell Pet Foundation will sponsor reduced adoption fees. Adopters will be able to save a life and bring home a spayed or neutered pet who is also vaccinated, available for adoption for $50 or less. Contact the uh, local Humane Society for more information and their hours of operation operation during the special event. And the 2023 Economic Summit is next month. Uh, the uh yeah, the California Summit, the uh, Imperial Valley Economic Development Corporation will be co-hosting the event. California Economic uh, Summit, uh, Coachella and Imperial Valleys will be held October 11th through the 13th. IBEDC will join the California Forward and leaders across the state to showcase the unique assets and aspects of the Imperial Valley. Summit will take place in Indian Wells. A conference will feature uh, sessions on business business, economic development, workforce, education, housing, infrastructure, broadband, and equity. Uh, There will also be a special tour of the Lithium Valley to kick off the summit on October 11th. To learn more, go to cafwd.org slash summit. And a call, car hauler rolls, a uh, tractor trailer rig hauling cars uh, went out of control and rolled over. The incident occurred at 2.15 p.m. on Thursday on eastbound Interstate 8 near Mountain Springs Road. The uh, big rig went over the side of an embankment and spilled its load of cars. Two of the cars were reported approximately 100 feet down a rock embankment. Uh, several local, uh, state, and federal agencies responded to the incident as did a hazardous materials cleanup team for a diesel fuel spill where the tractor trailer came to rest or the tractor came to rest in the desert. Traffic on the high on the freeway was halted while emergency crews were on the scene. The uh, driver was injured, but no information was available on the extent of those injuries. The incident remains under investigation. And County Public Works has announced a continued work on Rutherford Road. It is from high Highway 115 to Hastane Road. That portion of Rutherford will be closed for four days from September 25th through September 28th for continued road rehabilitation. Uh, Public Works suggests motorists find an alternate route during that four-day period. The work will be a a 24-hour-a-day closure. And your weather, that's coming up next. 
Imperial Valley now has a round table pizza, serving superior pizza, inspired by the honor of valor and revelry of the Knights of the Round Table. The quality and authenticity have earned them the reputation of pizza royalty. Now, for a limited time, receive a personal pizza with six slices, cheese, and a topping of your choice, including a 20-ounce soda, for only $9.95, Monday through Friday, 11 a.m. to 4 p.m. Round Table Pizza, now open, next to Menchie's Frozen Yogurt, 508 East Annenberg Drive in El Centro. The high temperature yesterday, 90 degrees. The overnight low this morning, 75. National Weather Service says after a fairly cloudy early part of today, skies will clear out this afternoon, allowing for temperatures to warm up into the mid to upper 90s across the lower deserts. Weak high pressure will then dominate across the region through at least the middle of next week, bringing slightly above normal temperatures, dry conditions, and generally clear skies. Weather forecast calling for sunny skies today. Highs right near 97, mostly sunny. West and northwest wind, 10 to 15 miles per hour, gusting as high as 20 miles per hour. Tonight, clear skies, overnight lows around 70. West winds at around 10 miles per hour. Sunday, sunny skies, highs right near 99. West and northwest winds, 5 to 10 miles per hour. Sunday night, clear skies, overnight lows around 69. Monday is sunny with the highs right near 100. Northwest winds 5 to 10 miles per hour. And right now we are looking at 81 degrees at the county airport, 30% the relative humidity. Air Pollution Control District says uh, there's still no report from Nyland. Otherwise, uh, air quality is good throughout the region. Page two of the local news and, and the weather has been brought to you by or delivered this morning by Roundtable Pizza and Menchie's Frozen Yogurt, 508 East Dannenberg Drive in El Centro. For over a century, local broadcasting has evolved with the needs of the community. We move past the stigmas of opinion journalism and bring the most relevant news online, on air, and on the go. You have trusted us with your news, sports, weather, and entertainment. Trust us to keep moving with you. Text RADIO to 52886 and tell Congress local broadcasting is here to stay. And it is time for the Sports World Roundup, brought to you by Pioneers Memorial Healthcare District, an affiliate of the Scripps Health Network, working together to provide you the best of care. High school football started on Thursday with a couple of games. Central defeated Cibola 35-12. to Brawley defeated Gila Ridge 47-15. to Friday, uh, the uh, Valley Center and Imperial Tigers, uh, they went into overtime. Imperial won the game 25-22. to it was Vincent Memorial over Bonita Vista, 20 to nothing, a shutout. Calipatria lost to Claremont, 14 to 7. Palo Verde, Palm Springs, there is no report. Southwest, Hauteville, and Calexico all had to buy. College football yesterday, it was uh, Wisconsin. Uh, Wisconsin defeated Purdue uh, 38 to 17. North Carolina State defeated Virginia uh, 24 to 21. Air Force topped San Jose State 45 to 20. Boise State got by San Diego State 34 to 31. And Georgia State beat Carolina 30 to 17. NFL tomorrow, it's a Sunday, uh, Sunday night game. Uh, the Raiders at the Pittsburgh Steelers. Uh, it'll be at uh, 107 uh, on FM 107.5, the Raiders station for the Imperial Valley. It'll be on the air at 4.30 p.m. Monday night football, uh, the uh, Rams against the Bengals. That'll be on the air at 4.30 p.m. on Monday on KXO AM 12.30. And uh, yeah, live right there. That's it. Well, no, it's not. We have more coming up. Pioneers Memorial Healthcare District, ready to serve you and your family for all of your health care needs. Let our team of dedicated physicians guide you on your journey to better health. Pioneers is a recognized leader in healthcare and has more than 10 health centers and clinics throughout the Imperial Valley. When the need arises, don't hesitate to come and see us. We have services and locations in Calexico and Raleigh, and of course, our award-winning hospital, Pioneers Memorial. For more information on all Pioneer services, visit www.pmhd.org today. And on the Major League Baseball scoreboard, it was the Titans over the Angels, 8-6. Padres win eight in a row. 
That's the longest streak they've had all season. They they beat the Cardinals four to two. Manny Machado smacked two home runs in that game. Cubs uh, shut out the Rockies six to nothing. Brewers over the Marlins sixteen to one. Pirates got by the Reds seven to five. It was the Blue Jays over the Rays six to two. Yankees defeated the Diamondbacks seven to one. Braves over the Nationals nine to six. Phillies defeated the Mets in ten innings five to four. It was the Guardians over the Orioles at 9 to 8. Uh, Red Sox defeated the White Sox 3 to 2. Rangers over the Mariners 8 to 5. Royals got by the Astros 7 to 5. Uh, the uh, Athletics beat the Tigers 8 to 2 and the Giants uh, defeated the Dodgers by a score of 5 to 1. That's happened twice this uh, recently and doesn't happen very often. The uh, N- WNBA uh, they are going they're in their playoff mode. Uh, they in fact they enter their semifinals tomorrow. So uh, the uh, first game of the uh, semifinals for the WNBA. It'll uh, feature Sun at Liberty in the morning, and the afternoon game will be the Wings at the Aces. And uh, China's uh, Wang Xiao has captured her first WTA Tour title. Uh, she did that this morning, early this morning in China, as the world number 88 powered past of Magda Lynette. And one and one, uh, the uh, Team World uh, sweeps uh, the uh, th- uh, three matches, first three matches uh, versus Team Europe at the Lab- Labor Cup in uh, in British Columbia. Okay, I thought the Labor Cup was in Australia, but um, I was wrong. And yeah, uh, Nelly Corda uh, in uh, golf, Nelly Corda, Allison Corp. Poos, uh, they helped the U.S. maintain the lead in the uh, Solheim Cup. And uh, Sergio uh, Garcia, uh, among the leaders of the Alib Chicago, as there are 15 golfers within one shot. So that, that that's pretty darn close. The Braves, uh, Ronald Acuna, became the uh, fifth player ever with a 40-40 season. The guy is really good. Anyway, that's it. That's a look at sports. Sports World Roundup, brought to you this morning by Pioneers Memorial Healthcare District. Log on to pmhd.org for more information about Pioneers Memorial Healthcare District. More than 80 million Americans depend on AM radio for their news, traffic, weather, sports, and a community connection. It's the backbone of the emergency alert system, keeping us safe in dangerous times. It's critical that we keep AM radio in cars because when cell and internet services are down, this free emergency service could be your only lifeline. Text AM to 52886 and tell Congress we need AM radio in cars. This message furnished by the National Association of Broadcasters. And we are now ready for financial news and weather brought to you by Southwest Security, locally owned company protecting you and your property, as well as Southwest Security offering a live scan fingerprinting to the public. Uh, on the business side, Wall Street wheezed to more losses Friday as it limped to the finish of its worst week in six months. S&P 500 slipped 9.94 points or 0.2% to 43.20.06 after a late day swoon erased a modest gain it had held for most of the day. It capped an ugly slide caused by Wall Street's growing understanding that the end Interest rates uh, likely won't come down much anytime soon. Dow Jones Industrial Average fell 106.58 points or 0.3% to 33,963.84. And the NASDAQ Composite dipped 12.18 points or 0.1% to 13,211.81. We'll take a look at your weather in just a minute. Hi, this is Jason Jackson, owner of Southwest Security. Two years ago, I opened Southwest Postal, offering you 24-hour access, 365 days a year. So if you're tired of dealing with the inconvenience of our post office hours, and you would like to be able to get your mail when you want, Saturdays, Sundays, holidays, in the middle of the night, then come visit us at Southwest Postal with 24-hour staff. Plus, we're also your local FedEx, DHL, and Postal Service Center. We even offer text message and email notification when you receive your mail. Southwest Postal at the corner of Fourth and Hile in El Centro. The high temperature yesterday, 90 degrees. The overnight low this morning, 75. 
National Weather Service says after a fairly cloudy early part of today, skies will clear out this afternoon, allowing for temperatures to warm up into the mid to upper 90s across the lower deserts. Weak high pressure will then dominate across the region through at least the middle of next week, bringing out slightly above normal temperatures, dry conditions, and generally clear skies. Weather forecast calling for sunny skies today. Highs right near 97, mostly sunny. West to northwest wind, 10 to 15 miles per hour, gusting as high as 20 miles per hour. Tonight, clear skies, overnight lows around 70. West winds at around 10 miles per hour. Sunday, sunny skies, highs right near 99. West to northwest winds, 5 to 10 miles per hour. Sunday night, clear skies, overnight lows around 69. Monday is sunny with the highs right near 100. Northwest winds 5 to 10 miles per hour. And right now we are looking at 81 degrees, 30% the relative humidity. Other than Nyland, air quality is good throughout the region. Now, Nyland is not reporting this morning. That's it. That's financial news and weather brought to you by uh, Southwest Security Services. They also offer 24-hour-a-day post office boxes at Southwest Postal at the corner of 4th and Hyle in El Centro. From coast to coast, this is Goddard's Gold, right here on the Imperial Valley. AM 1230, KXO. Goddard's Gold, what's your name? Who's your daddy? Get the gold, Goddard's Gold, Saturday 9 p.m. to midnight and Sunday morning 8 a.m. to 11 a.m. And we're coming up on CBS News at the top of the hour, 8 o'clock, six minutes of news and information on the way. Right now, your border wait update coming across the border. Got a 45 to 50 minute wait downtown. No wait in the Century Lane, 10 to 15 minute wait if you're walking. Eastport, the Gateway Port, 30 to 35 minute wait in the regular lanes, 30 to 35 minute wait in the ready lanes. There is no wait at the East Century Lane. Throughout the year, we have contests on KXO AM 1230. This allows you the opportunity to have some great fun and a chance to win some nice prizes. In order to allow as many people as possible a chance to win, we've established a few ground rules for on-air contests. Number one, you must be 18 years of age or older to win. Number two, only one winner per family per contest in any four-week period. And number three, copies of any of the rules and conditions for specific contests will be available at the KXO studios. It's just that simple. So good luck, have fun, and keep listening to KXO AM 1230. The best oldies on the radio. KXO. Well, KXO. At the tone, it will be exactly 8 o'clock. This is CBS News on the Hour, presented by Indeed.com. I'm Allison Keyes. Tropical storm Ophelia is pounding the North Carolina coast and tens of thousands are already without power. Forecasters warn of life-threatening storm surges. CBS's Tom Foley. Expect lots of rain and heavy wind as Ophelia hugs the mid-Atlantic coast. Some estimated rainfall totals here, especially around the Delmarva, working through eastern Virginia, Richmond, Williamsburg, Virginia Beach, and eastern North Carolina could see uh, rainfall totals as high as a half foot. Chris Bruin at the Weather Channel and his colleague Alex Wilson. Falling trees will definitely be a concern. Power outage is possible. Storm surge, an issue as well, four to six feet along portions of the North Carolina coast. Then we've got coastal flood watches, coastal flood warnings, and coastal flood advice. Tom Foti, CBS News, Washington. Still no deal on a congressional spending bill, which means the government could shut down in seven days. CBS's Christina Ruffini. The federal government is bracing for a funding lapse. Warning federal employees that if Congress can't strike a deal before October 1st, they could see a pause in their paychecks. I believe we have a majority here and we can work together to solve this. The House will be in order. House Speaker Kevin McCarthy has been fighting with hardliners in his own party, trying to get them to pass a stopgap measure until they can work out a larger spending bill. 
That United Auto Workers strike is bigger now, having expanded to 20 more states, and workers say they're in it for the long haul. CBS's Michael George with more. Some 13 percent of the union's nearly 150,000 members are on the picket lines. GM and Stellantis say they continue to bargain in good faith. GM calling the decision to expand the strike unnecessary, while Stellantis, the parent of Chrysler, says it presented a very competitive offer but never received a response. There are more talks set for today in that Hollywood writer strike after a marathon session yesterday. This producer was on the picket lines. I do hope that I can get back to work and um, that it's over soon, but only with a fair contract. Pope Francis is in France worrying about migrants around the world. CBS's Anna Matranga is with him. The Pope acknowledged that countries face difficulties in welcoming and integrating migrants, but said rejection was not the answer. Instead, the solution is for European countries to ensure sure legal entry with each nation accepting migrants in according to its possibilities. This as the U.S. struggles with a near record increase in illegal crossings at the southern border with Mexico. Border agents apprehended some 140,000 in the first 20 days of September. The Biden administration says it is sending 800 active duty troops there to help mitigate the problem. This is CBS News. When you think of hiring, think of Indeed. Their end-to-end -end hiring system helps you attract, interview, and hire candidates all in the same place. Visit Indeed.com slash credit. Moments like my daughter telling me a new joke mean a lot to me. But after being diagnosed with metastatic breast cancer, or MBC, which is breast cancer that is spread to other parts of the body, they mean even more. I take Ibrance, Palpocyclib. Ibrance 125 milligram tablets with an aromatase inhibitor is for adults with HR positive HER2 negative NBC as the first hormonal based therapy. Ask your doctor about Ibrance and visit Ibrance.com. Ibrance may cause low white blood cell counts that may lead to serious infections. Ibrance may cause severe inflammation of the lungs. Both of these can lead to death. Tell your doctor right away if you have new or worsening symptoms, including trouble breathing, shortness of breath, cough, or chest pain. Before taking Ibrance, tell your doctor if you have fever, chills, or other signs of infection, liver or kidney problems, are or plan to become pregnant, or are breastfeeding. Common side effects include low red blood cell and low platelet counts, infections, tiredness, nausea, sore mouth, abnormalities in liver blood tests, diarrhea, hair thinning or loss, vomiting, rash, and loss of appetite. Tomorrow, a step toward answering some pretty big questions. Scientists had high hopes. And liftoff of Osiris Rex. When NASA's asteroid hunter left the Cape back in 2016, four years ago, Touchdown declared. <gasps> Osiris Rex had a brief but fruitful contact with the asteroid Bennu. Sunday, the mothership will release a capsule with those tiny samples for return to Earth. University of Central Florida physics and astronomy professor Dr. Umberto Campins says the samples may be microscopic, but they'll pay big dividends. It's going to help us understand the, the origin of life here on Earth uh, from the surface of Mars or on the moons of Jupiter or on planets around other stars. Peter King, CBS News, Orlando. If you watch a bunch of stuff on Amazon Prime, be prepared to dig a little deeper if you don't want your program cluttered with ads. Starting next year, it will start showing them during shows and movies. To avoid them, you'll have to pay another $2.99 per month. Alice Keys, CBS News. Attention taxpayers, ready for some bad news? With $80 billion in new funding from Congress, the IRS has launched their most aggressive hiring campaign ever to ramp up enforcement. If you're ignoring your taxes, don't delay another minute because your paycheck, your bank account, even your home or business could already be at risk. Now, here's the good news. Optima Tax Relief, America's number one tax relief firm, can get to work immediately, helping to protect you from the IRS. A-plus rated by the best. Business Bureau, their tax attorneys and licensed professionals are experts at resolving tax problems. Let them help determine if you qualify for the Fresh Start Initiative or other powerful IRS tax assistance programs. Take control. Call Optima Tax Relief now for a free consultation. Call 800-343-6460. 800-343-6460. Optima Tax Relief. Some restrictions apply. For complete details, please visit OptimaTaxRelief.com. And now, more of the best oldies on the radio. Gentlemen, I would like to introduce George Gale. I got style, I'm cultured, I'm sophisticated. AM 1230 KXO. AM 1230 KXO.